Hey folks, Wacky Weatherman here. Happy first day of spring. This is March 20th of 2023. We just had our 700th video. Tonight we're going to check out the uh, nighttime forecast, your uh, bedtime forecast, before we turn in. And I see you in the morning for the Wacky Weather Wake Up Update. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and check this out. And see what Noah Bergeron's got for us. So, uh, anyway, so here we go. Let's uh, check it out. I'm on the A13 tonight. So, um, I'm processing the seven, the video on my S20 FE. But anyway, let's go ahead and check this out and see what we got to play with. Side, and it was like, whoa, it's chilly. Despite all that sunshine, but that's going to be a thing of the past here as we go forward. Uh -huh. First tomorrow... Lots of clouds, don't expect really any sun. Rain's going to come in during the afternoon and evening. Here's 2, 3, 4 o'clock. By 4, everybody should be seeing rain. Uh, highs on your Thursday, uh, Tuesday, excuse me, probably will be about 50 or so in the midday, and then the temps will actually fall during the afternoon. By 6.30, this first shield of rain is starting to pull away east of our area. There might be some drizzle, mist, or some fog over us tomorrow evening after sunset. Temperatures holding in the 40s. Maybe some more showers going into Wednesday morning. Now, Wednesday, despite it being pretty cloudy, the temperatures will warm quickly during the day. That's called warm advection coming in from the south, and it will be breezy as well. Temperatures, notice, despite all the clouds, still make it into the mid-60s. It's possible in the late afternoon we get some sunshine coming into Tennessee and the Boot Hill. Maybe some holes in the clouds in Kentucky and Missouri. But if you're in Illinois, probably totally cloudy all day Wednesday in dry in the afternoon now wednesday overnight temperatures will stay way above average probably somewhere in the 60s going into thursday morning mm -hmm. all right so thursday afternoon and evening interesting setup we've got low pressure in eastern canada low pressure oh. developing in texas and a long front between the two uh -oh. winds from north to south on this side of the front winds from south to north on this side of the front they ram into each other and that causes precip so thursday during the day Despite how this model depicts it, I think will be dry. As this front sags to the south Thursday evening and overnight, there probably will be a band of showers and strong storms on the front that could pose a hail and wind risk late Thursday. This model's got it at about 8.30 Thursday. I think it might be closer to like midnight Friday or 1, 2 a.m., but the idea is still the same, a front dropping to the south with rain and storms late Thursday and early Friday. Then the front technically becomes a warm front because it will switch around and go the opposite direction. It'll move from south to north during the day Friday as an area of low pressure develops, tracking out of Texas in this fashion. And we'll have waves of rain and storms Friday. Now, the details about when the worst will be still to be figured out mm. based on the track of the surface lower right here. Oh, but time. it does look like, at least for a time, we'll poke into the warm sector, which is between the warm front and the cold front, and we could have a chance of some strong or severe storms Friday, but the bigger concern is for rain. Red indicates over two and a half inches of rain, purple over one and a half inches of rain. Ooh, Notice yeah. the entire area oh, looking like we're going to get several inches of rain. Ooh. Flooding is a big concern Friday into Friday night. So tomorrow, cloudy with showers in the afternoon and evening. Wednesday, warming up despite being totally cloudy. Maybe a shower or some mist early in the so morning. The case. Gusty winds Thursday during the day, warmer mid-70s. First round of storms late Thursday evening, and then a much bigger, longer-lasting round during the day Friday with some storms in the 60s. Clearing and breezy Saturday, 62 with sun. Let's roll back in on Sunday, maybe a shower, then we could do this whole thing all over again next Monday with some thunderstorms possible. All right. Well, all right, folks. Well, that's, the, hey, i tell you what, this is going to be good. This is going to shape up to be an awesome next couple of weeks and to start into April. So we got storms on the way. So I know Jumping James is going to like that. So you all stay tuned to the Wacky Weatherman, Nice Sky Weather. And Friday, we may do a live. Friday, i tell you what, Friday, we might go live here. So... We may go live Friday starting, oh, I don't know, I guess probably about 1 o'clock and go until 3 or 4 or something like that. So, anyway, that's uh, that's what you're, that's what you're going to get. So, we'll just work on it. So, anyway, this is March 20th of 2023. I'll see you all tomorrow morning for a Wacky Weather Wake Up Update. We're past 700 videos and 
Yeehaw! So I'll see y'all then. Y'all be groovy. Gerald here, Wacky Weatherman, March 20th of 23. And there's your Wacky Weather bedtime update. Something like that. So storms is coming, my friends. Y'all be groovy. And welcome to our first day of spring.